Hello and welcome to Culture Shock. I'm Evan. And I'm Brent. And today we are talking about fireworks. Fireworks, fire. But specifically <laughs> Japanese fireworks. Japanese fireworks. Yeah. Oh. Now, you often see in anime, uh, folks will be walking along and they'll be, you know, launching a new um, mall or they'll be going mm. to a just a normal festival and there are fireworks getting launched up in the yeah. sky. Yeah, everybody wears a special outfit. Mm -hmm. I think the kimono and what yep. are some of the other outfits? Kimono, people? yukata, yukata. Um, are, are more common. Yukata is... So the yukata is a, a simpler cotton robe in the same style as a kimono hmm. but is not w worn in many layers. Oh, so, so not yeah. as heavy. Not as heavy and easier to put on. Uh, and then uh, men will wear what's called a jinbei, which is that jinbei. sort of a more pajama style outfit that you often see them around in. Oh, wow. um, so people take fireworks pretty seriously, getting dressed mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. as a special occasion. Yes, and now often they're going to an actual festival, and the fireworks are part of the festival. It's called a hanabi takai. Hanabi takai. Yeah, hmm. and uh, so it's a fireworks festival to celebrate the summer. Literally. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> and so you go out and you'll have street vendors set up and they'll be selling yakisoba. Mm. Oh, lovely like yakisoba. And takoyaki. <laughs> oh. And um, kakigori. Do you know what kakigori is? That I don't know. What is that? It's a shaved ice. Oh. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Mm, very it's good. like a summer festival, uh, kind of like we have yeah. for, like, we have 4th of July. We, mm. fire, we have fireworks then. Yeah. And it's a very similar kind of festival is mm. that you get together. Um, but they'll also have some more traditional Japanese games. So you've always all seen folks uh, trying to catch goldfish <laughs> in those little, uh, those little paper uh, things. And so you'll, you'll have that. And then it culminates in a huge fireworks show. Now, when I say huge fireworks show, um, this is a big deal. I mean, you're, you get um, hundreds of thousands of spectators to some of these shows. Wow. Yeah, it's a really, really big That's deal. It's a lot of people there. It's a sea, it's, a, it's larger than an arena there. Yeah, and <sighs> folks come from all around. Um, they'll have up to 100,000 rounds fired in each show. That is a serious show. It is a really serious show. Um, and there, uh, there's, a, there's a fireworks festival nearly every day in summer, somewhere. Um, wow. There are over 200 in August alone, just to give you an idea, all over Japan. Whoa, I've got to see some of those. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Um, and they just put a lot of, of effort into it. Um, and so, you, you know, you can show up and you can, you can see these things. And they go on for minutes and minutes and minutes at a time, obviously. It's a, it's a big deal. Um, now, as you all have seen in firework shows, there are multiple different kinds of fireworks. So there's some that'll do bursts, some that'll do streamers, some that'll do all sorts of things. And Japanese fireworks are well known for their regularity. Hmm. They're very consistent. So uh, when they explode, they're not lopsided. You know, you don't get some coming out a little bit f faster than others. You generally get a, a very uh, even, good burst. quality control on the design. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, surprisingly enough, the Japanese <laughs> care about quality and making sure everything's <laughs> consistent. Um, yeah, and and that's how that goes. Ooh. Yeah, and as we were talking about before, it's kind of interesting how it's a much more mundane thing, if you will where you'll see them for these more mundane events, like mm. opening a mall or mm. a shopping arcade. And for us, it's, it's such a special occasion. Mm -hmm. uh, Fourth of July, New Year's, mm -hmm. maybe a rare occasion outside of that, but Not much. for the most part, that, that's the only times we really see them. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's, a, it's a very big deal. And our shows are a lot shorter, too. True. And but we do have some unusual fireworks, and yeah. I've I've seen stars and bows mm -hmm. and different types of things. What is is it the same with the fireworks? Oh shows yeah, uh, Pikachu, Pikachu, Mario, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in the explosion. Yep, that's exactly. pretty neat. Oh yeah, and they're they're experimenting with all sorts of stuff. Um, and there, there are some huge ones. I mean, uh, they'll do a single firework that will light up the entire sky like that. Um, it, there, there's some really impressive stuff, and of course they're trying to do these uh, uh, these really um, big explosions at the very end to give you a, a really nice feel. The grand it. finale. Bop, 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 exactly. Bop. Yeah. <laughs> now the other interesting thing is that um, we tend to set our uh, fireworks to music, hmm. and that's not as common over there. Oh. Again, because you're g generally getting a lot throughout the year instead of we're only going to do one this year, so we got to time it exactly right. So sometimes you see that, but hmm. it, it's more often that it's just a show of fireworks. Yeah, very, very nice, very calm way of doing it in, in that sense. 
do 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 people have off from their work sometimes for this? Well, it, 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 it's usually done at night, mm -hmm. so folks can get off work. Evening shift, mm -hmm. yeah, you're gonna see it at night. Exactly, um, and uh, and obviously if you're in school, then you'll you'll get off school and have some time to get changed and go out and do that. It's one of the reasons why in anime you see so often. Um, it's the the uh, teenagers wearing those outfits, whereas the adults aren't as much because they've had to get all the other stuff done before going out to the and all the romantic school. opportunities oh, that yes. occur. Will will I get to go to the fireworks with the one I hope to? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, um, and that's another interesting thing actually about it, um, especially these uh, hanabi taikai, is that because this is your one chance to wear a yukata or other clothes like that. Mm. So it, you're, there aren't that many other opportunities to do that in, in, in real life. You're not going to wear that to school. No. <laughs> um, so it, it's your chance to show off how pretty you look wow. in those outfits, especially if you're a girl. Um, so there's that extra kind of pressure of suddenly you're in a very unusual situation dressed very differently. Yeah. And uh, it, it, it adds some extra flair to the occasion, if you will. And I suppose a little bit of awkwardness. I'm not familiar with this <laughs> yeah, feel. <laughs> exactly, yes. Um, and uh, if you go full kimono, I mean, that's a very complicated uh, garment. Um, I mean, kimono aren't supposed to, you know, generally you can't dress yourself in a kimono. It's that, you know, difficult. Wow. So, uh, yeah, if, if, if you're really wearing something like that, then it's going to be a little difficult <laughs> to get around. The idea of help dress me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing this on my own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Team effort. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, um, more traditional outfits will often have accoutrement. Hmm. So you know, you're wearing things in your hair. You're wearing other things. You've got the OB sash around you. There are other different things that you've got to kind of juggle along wow. with all of that. Oh, quite an experience it is and that's part of the thing is that you, know, you go to this festival it's not just walking up and seeing fireworks you're dressing up you're going to the stalls you're experiencing things you get the you shaved really ice <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> especially those hot japanese summers really nice so yeah yeah all the june bugs oh yeah <laughs> totally wow well i can't wait to see the fireworks next time i next time they're they're available yeah uh and thank you for joining us on this episode of Culture Shock. And where can we go to learn more? You can learn more at geekarchaeologist.com. See ya. <laughs>